Welcome broadcasters to episode number 7 of Flash Camp Gordon's voiceover experience. Please clear the recording studio, we need complete silence. We're mass communicating! Now here's the host of our show, Flash Camp Gordon! <laughs> Thank you, Libby. Excellent. Hey, this week in the voiceover industry coaching session with the fabulous Lisa Foster, let's talk a little bit about tone. We were going over an exercise. We were doing a narration. It's about the birth of the drive-in movie theater. It was a very light-hearted piece of copy. What I'm learning to do in analyzing my script now is to do what all of the pros do, and that is they draw little arrows, little sweeping marks, and then you circle and then you box in certain words so that you know where to go with your tone, <laughs> with your tone, with your, your emphasis and you're going to raise your voice, you're going to lower your voice. Pretty soon you've got this roadmap for yourself that allows you to put the proper emphasis where it needs to be. Oh yes, highlight the transition. You're going to go from one topic to another topic. And so all of that's very important and it's very cool to do too. So the fabulous Lisa Foster was illustrating to me a very important point concerning tone and your script. Now this particular script here, The Death of the Drive-In Movie Theater, it's a light-hearted, fanciful little excursion into some of the history of the drive-in movie theater and how Richard Hollingshead Jr. went ahead and invented the crazy drive-in and how much fun it was and, and now the fact that the drive-in theater is kind of gone by the wayside of the dinosaur as you know. So the tone in this particular piece needs to be so much more important than the actual words that we're saying. Lisa used this illustration with me and it's one that I'm sure you've probably done with your pet, be it a, a dog or a cat or a maybe a boa constrictor, and that is that you approach the pet, we'll call the pet Spanky, and you go, oh, Spanky, who's a little poopy head, huh? huh? Are you a poopy head? Oh, come here, baby, come here, you stinking little ball of fur. <laughs> Spanky's going to be excited and very happy because of the tone you're using. Spanky is not listening to the actual words because Spanky understands only emotion. Spanky doesn't re realize that you're calling him a poopy head. No, because he would reach out and lash out against you if that were the case. And so the tone in this particular piece of script that we're talking about here needs to be friendly. It's a friendly tone. Yes, we need to all be practicing at all times. She said, read your junk mail. You get advertisements, you get flyers, you get newspaper ads, things like this. You can pick those up and start reading those as though you were selling the emotion alongside of the item itself. Let me give you an example. Now, I don't have any junk mail right now in front of me, but I do have this bottle of red hot Tabasco sauce. So what you can do here is you can take the label itself and you can say, for well over a century, the adventurous flavor of Tabasco sauce has fired up generations of thrill seekers. You're going to sell the emotion that goes along with drinking Tabasco sauce. Those are just a couple of quick little tips there.